Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over are the new refrigeration cycle posters. So we have seven different versions of these posters, and they're all going to be together as a bundle, and they come in two different sizes. So you have the two foot by three foot versions, and also the 12 inch by 18 inch versions. And so we also have PowerPoints available based on these, so I just want to give you a quick rundown of each one of these, but these are available over on Amazon and also on our website at acservicetech.com. So this is the basic refrigeration cycle, and here you have your compressor, your metering device, your evaporator quill, and your condenser quill. So those are the four main components to the refrigeration cycle, and you have this split up between the high pressure side and the low pressure side. Here's the refrigeration cycle of a split system air conditioner, and here you have your indoor air handler, here you have your outdoor condensing unit, you have a scroll compressor, your service valves, filter dryer, and thermostatic expansion valve. And so you have your refrigerant states here, and they're indicated by the colors. So we have our low pressure vapor, our low pressure liquid, our high pressure liquid, and our high pressure vapor. So you can determine what the pressure is at each point in the system. This one here is the heat pump refrigeration cycle in air conditioning mode. And so you have a reversing valve here, and you also have your accumulator. And so this is the kind of stuff that you want to have hanging up in the classroom, hanging up in the shop. So in HVAC contracting business, you want to have your new employees like maybe take a look at this every once in a while. Maybe they're, they're waiting for a direction or something like that. They want to start absorbing what's happening. And so you have two metering devices. You have one here and one here. Well, one's active and one's inactive. And so that changes depending on what mode you're in. This one's in heating mode and it's indicated right there. And you have an inactive metering device here, which is your thermostatic expansion valve. And here's your active metering device out here. And so you do see a change in pressure. And right here you have your reversing valve. It slid this way to connect the two, the middle and the left tube right here. And so you are rejecting heat inside from the refrigerant and you are absorbing heat outside. Here we have the refrigeration cycle of a mini split. And just keep in mind that all of these posters right here, we also developed those into PowerPoints so that you can use them in the classroom or you can use them in your training sessions at your company. And so right here, you have the ductless mini split refrigeration cycle in air conditioning mode. Right here, you have your rotary compressor and you have your accumulator. You have your EEV metering device. So you don't have two metering devices here. You have one and it's located in the outdoor unit. So you are rejecting the heat outside and you're absorbing the heat inside into the refrigerant and you can once again see your refrigerant states and you have a close up view of the reversing valve. Here you have your mini split in heating mode and right here you are rejecting the heat from the refrigerant into the indoor air and over here you are absorbing your heat from the outside air even though it's low in temperature. And so you have your reversing valve shifted over here and you have your metering device right here is going to be active whether it's in heating mode or in air conditioning mode. It's just the, the directional flow of the refrigerant, which way the refrigerant is, is heading. And so you want to be able to study this. You want to be able to study the, the reversing valve in order to know what's happening. Here's the refrigeration cycle of a walk-in box, and this is an automatic pump-down refrigeration unit. You have a opened up reciprocating compressor. You have your liquid line sight glass, your solenoid valve, filter dryer, your liquid receiver tank. You have your condenser coil. Here's your evaporator coil. And here is an adjustable thermostatic expansion valve. And so what's happening is you're absorbing heat from the product within the box. And so that's actually getting absorbed in the refrigerant. The refrigerant's traveling out to your outdoor unit. And that's where the refrigerant's rejecting the heat by the air that's coming across here and getting blown at the top. So that's how that works. I'd love to see these posters hung up in shops and HVAC schools across the country. And I just think it's an awesome thing that a student or an employee can kind of look into a system to see what's going on. And maybe that will trigger a question that they may have that, so that they can ask the right type of questions. And also maybe it'll give them an answer for how the refrigerant's flowing in the system. So. I think it's an awesome, awesome thing, and I hope that you're going to enjoy it. And also, we have PowerPoints available, and so we have our posters available over at Amazon as the large posters and the small posters. We have our PowerPoints available over at our website at aecservicestick.com, as well as the posters. We also have bundle packs, and so make sure you take advantage of all that. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.